Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. It's the 1st of May and it is time for Shutterbug AU, my six month make along. So let's get started. A bit of review on April. We had some beautiful bright colours dues and some of those bigger projects are really starting to take shape and grow in size. We had some interesting projects turn up that were a little different. One of them that made me smile was Laura from Mad Mimi's Farming and Crochet. She is doing a chicken bag project. Not a bag that holds chickens, it's a plastic bag holder in the shape of a chicken. Um, she did a video, so I'll put a link in the description box below for you to check out the video. It was really entertaining and I love seeing it because it is a very different project for us. Won't be a moment. Apologies. The sun is shining today. The rain has stopped for a little while, but the humidity is really high. And I decided I had to turn the air conditioner on because I was starting to glow or glisten, as my mother would say. So yes, make sure you check out Laura's video and her chicken bag project. It certainly made me smile. Now don't forget, at the end of this video is the participant prize draw for the people who enter during the month of April. A $25 gift voucher or we come to some such arrangement if a gift voucher doesn't suit the winner. So make sure you watch the video to the end to see who wins the gift voucher and for participating during April. So on with May. 1st of May is Thing's birthday. Yes, it's a big birthday. He turns 70 today and yes, um, we will be celebrating on the weekend because my birthday is like the Monday so we're just going to go out on the weekend. I will cook something special tonight and he got his lovely gifts this morning before my son disappeared off into the blue yonder for work. So with it being Thing's birthday, I, the photo I picked is something he really liked and wanted to do when we're on holidays. It was high on his bucket list. So when we went to Victoria, which is a southern state of Australia, we're a northern state for those who don't know. We went down there and we just sort of like of a driving holiday. It was for me to visit woolen mills, yarn shops, catch up with my yarny friend Janice. Hi Janice. And have a look around. But high on his bucket list was this particular visit. So... Before I show you the picture or talk about it, warning, warning, it contains nude art. So if you're offended or don't like nude art, please look away. And I will tell you the colors in the project so you can pick from your stash. You don't have to look at the picture. Anyway, when we went to Victoria, he wanted to see Chloe. And now I'm going to have to read it. Chloe is an 1875 oil painting by French academic painter Jules Joseph Lebray. It measures 206 centimetres by 139 centimetres. It depicts a nymph in Miss Chloe. Uh, nymph, in, I, I can't quite get the translation from French right, but basically it's a nymph and her, her name is Miss Chloe. And it's based on a poem by the 18th century French poet André Chenier. The painting hangs in the Young and Jackson Hotel in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, where it has been since 1909. It is one of the most popular paintings on display in Melbourne. Chloe is considered an icon of the city and was the mascot of the Royal Navy frigate HMS Melbourne. Now, we took quite a stroll around Melbourne looking at different things with the, the Young and Jackson Hotel being our aim for lunch and visiting the painting that Thing has always been interested in. So we went to the Young and Jackson. Now, the Chloe painting is on the second level in a more upmarket lounge, but anyone can go up there and take photographs and enjoy it and have a look at it and downstairs there's dining and what we did was we went up Thing took some photos I took some of him in front of her or with her and then we went down and decided we'd stay for lunch it was a beautiful lunch it was an interesting lunch 
Now, being a big city, it's full of people with different personalities and lifestyles. And on the table next to us were two men who were in a debate about their sexuality. They were very flamboyantly dressed, but it was quite a loud discussion. The maitre d' twice had to keep it down because they couldn't decide if they were bi, trans, gay, all sorts of things. I think at the, finally at the end of their conversation, they decided they were asexual. I'm not quite sure, but it was fun. <laughs> they were really loud. And yeah, the maitre d' said to me, I'm really sorry because it's quite full. I can't move you. He said, and they're in here every Saturday for lunch and it's always the same conversation. He said, I think they do it to draw attention to themselves. And I said, it's fine. We're, we're fine. We're not fussed. But yes, it was an interesting lunch. I did enjoy seeing Chloe. It's not been a piece of artwork that I've ever been really interested in. But Thing had done a lot of reading and he'd been to Melbourne before and he hadn't been able to see it. He was too busy with work. So for those of you who aren't into nude art, there are some yellows, yellow tones from mustard right through to that green, light greeny yellow tone, beige and a rust tone. For those of you who aren't offended by nude art, I'm going to attempt to show you the photo on my laptop. There is, oh, of course, that's going to come up. There is Chloe, the photo that Thing took on his special trip to the Young and Jackson Hotel. Have a good look. There will be a copy of it at the end of this video for you to check out. Um, I know we did a lot of bright yellows in the last one, but I do like this. I thought it was quite a way to commemorate Thing's 70th birthday during my make-along. It's a great photo. And he was very, very happy that he finally got to see it. And it was a tick off his bucket list. His bucket list is quite varied sometimes. Mine um, is usually places I want to see or world monuments. With him, it can be a piece of art. It can be, because we've been discussing a trip overseas this year. And I said, oh, I, he's seen Portugal, I haven't. And I said, I wouldn't mind going. He said, well, I wouldn't do that trip. And he did tell me the thing. He climbed this huge hill to go to see this spectacular view and old church or something. And he couldn't, when he got to the top, go in because all the gates were locked. So there was a big fire in the area. It took him like an hour and a half to climb this hill. Not in a car, on foot, high cover. So he said, yeah, I don't have fond memories of Portugal. After that, it was extremely hot. But anyway, um, yeah, we're in discussions. He will be going to Spain again for a while. Me, I don't know if I want to travel this year. Um, we will see. So guys, that's it for the make along, except my projects. I finally did my third bump and finished it with the blues and yellows. I forgot to show you this. And I've got to start my fourth bump. I haven't done the ends yet. But I guess with my project, the big thing is I was doing squares for hip to be square as well, double dipping the make along. And I was joining them as I go and using the brown. Now I didn't mind the brown, but the particular yarn I was using was very splitty. And I got really annoyed and I took them all apart and they're all here. Um, I'm going to use, uh, I've got this black yarn that's a lot more sturdy and not as splitty in my yarn stock and I'm going to use that. So for the last, for the month of April, I did red with the blue for the last photo and blue with some greeny yellow. So I think for the size blanket I need these particular squares, I need 36, 5, 6, 7, Eight, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I am more than halfway, I think. No, I'm halfway. So yes, that is all my squares. I'm done, but we'll join as you go. Because yeah, I noticed 
as I got further along the yarn was splitting as in the joins and wasn't looking very nice so I frogged all the joiners I go out and I will start joining them the aim is to sort of group them in colors that I think they go and do them in rows and yes I am looking forward to making my fourth bump for my cuddle bug some people who are making the cuddle shutter bug are further ahead than me but yeah it's been a lot of fun as I said I'm holding two eight ply yarns together and it's looking very colorful so let me know how your project's going and if you decided that you finished your major project but you want to do another couple of little ones until the end of June what projects you're picking um, I really did enjoy seeing the chicken bag project I am tempted to make one I don't know why because I'm not really into chickens anyway guys have a lot of fun with Shutterbug AU I will see you on the 15th don't forget stay well stay safe and have a crafty day bye for now welcome to the participant prize draw for Shutterbug AU and the month of April we have 14 names on the wheel we have about 18 participating in the make-along, but not everybody wanted to go into the draw for the prize. So for the $25 voucher, good luck everyone. Laurie BM. Laurie BM. Now I do know she has a channel name. Ocean View Crochet, I think it's called. Don't quote me on that. Laurie, if you could contact me and we will work something out. It's very difficult to get an Amazon voucher in Canada. If you have some other idea for a voucher, let me know in the email. Or I can send you money through PayPal and you can spend it at your local yarn shop. Everybody, make sure you congratulate Laurie. And I look forward to seeing what you come up with for the month of May. Bye for now.